Hey everybody, we're back in Dr. Brain's Hi. Evil Genetics Research Lab. And let's go in this elevator. What? I thought... I thought we were doing genetics. Oh, oh did you want to keep trying? Okay, well the elevator's open. Yeah. Alright. I want to partake in unethical experimentation. But thou must do genetic experiments. <laughs> Ooh, look, they look all different now. Okay, so I think it's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. The expert one is the one that gets tricky. Okay, so we gotta get some bees. Oh, it has to be this one. That's the only one that has any recessive. You know what I like doing is I like getting the recessive ones first. Yeah, recessive the bee. All the other ones are completely dominate. It has to be bee. I think. That's no, true. because the E needs to be dominant on both of them. Well, it's not on any of these guys. Oh, really? Oh, well, then maybe it's on the other side. No. Yeah. But I just realized something. Or it could do that thing where it's like a combination of dominant and recessive, because that sometimes yields dominant. I just... Wait a second. Why didn't it go here? Because you didn't click it. I did. Did? Let's click it again. I'm clicking! <laughs> no, click the the space. The strategy of pointing at something isn't making me learn more about it. Click there. What? It's not working. Uh... And that doesn't do anything. What's this? Oh! It's going to do it twice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I forgot it did that. Oh no! Oh, you can don't always do it again. Don't worry. Ugh, I hate this. So one. okay, so we have to plan ahead. What we need is a parent that is two recessive Bs, two recessive As. Um. I hate this puzzle. I so hate this puzzle. We're really? gonna do this I off screen. We're fine. gonna do this off screen. Be right back. Okay, folks. After finding out that puzzle was actually a lot easier than I thought it was, we are successful. And yep, and I'm you didn't gonna, get to see it. I'm gonna save it. Well, there was a lot of fail. We're not gonna lie about that. There was fail in this. That's true. That's true. But on the on the expert one, you got it like right away. I did. I like guessed and I got it. Now we need to look and see what's in this elevator. If it will save doesn't want to. It likes a genetic room. Yeah, there we go. Okay. My speed on the DOS box is turned way down, so that's why it's not really going that fast. But let's head oh, up the I elevator. Elevator oh, go this down. room. Elevator go down the hole. So what are these? Whenever I play this game, it always locks up in this room. If you screw up enough. <laughs> you study the famous artist's bust. Oh, that's awkward to say. Artists busts. Yeah. Don't bust those busts, Buster, or you'll get busted. <gasps> Before you can turn a painting around, you must turn on Dr. Brain's artists busts. That sounds wrong. All right. Open it up. You there? Turn to. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You're breaking Look up. On the... What? You're breaking up. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no. Um. Then find a painting by that artist on the wall. When you think you found one, click on the artist's bust's forehead again. You're really breaking up. Really? Fine now. Okay, we're we're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of like fuzziness. I'm not quite sure why. Oh man. Okay, uh, do I sound okay now? You sound fine, it's just we're getting the static, I'm not quite sure why. You there? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not sure why that was happening. See, this room okay. is making us bug out. We, we knew it. Right. Okay, so we need to figure out what painting... Uh, essentially, we need to figure out which painting over there belongs to which respective bus. 
Rolls to match the paintings from the wall with each bust. You may select any of the six canvases from the middle row of the paintings on the wall. These paintings will be random in random order. Therefore, you may find more, th more than one painting for some of the busts and no paintings for, for some of the others. Learn more about each artist, press the button on each bust's pedestal. If you get stuck, use, a, use your hint watch. Well, we should first probably learn about these artists. Isn't that Salvador Dali? I was born in... Oh, you go ahead and do it. I was born in Figueres, Catalina, on May 11th, 1904. My genius Cut is unlimited yeah. in scope, and my painting is only a small part of it. I abandoned a promising university career teaching law to pursue my artistic passions to become a pure artist, one who seeks to express only inner and essential feelings and ignores the superficial and futitious. Wow, sounds like a snob. Uh, what is your name? <laughs> well, that really matters, but... I was the commanding figure of abstract expressionism. My work is categorized by drips, splashes, and dribbles. I think that's plot. For you. This is George O'Keefe. I was a famous... I was the famous American painter who pioneered modernism. And drew flowers that looked like vaginas. Yep. This is Picasso. Yep. In my paintings, I mastered traditional realist techniques at a young age. It's Van Gogh, I believe. I was yep. born in Holland in 1853, and I belonged to a group of painters that are today called Post-Impressionists. Didn't he also kill himself? He... Something about his ear. I, I don't think he killed himself. I think he... I think he got really, really sick, and what I heard is... Actually, it's a really tragic story. He wasn't really that popular while he was painting. I guess during, like, the last few hours of his life, he learned that one of his paintings actually finally sold, and he died a happy man. Uh-huh. So that's kind of nice. So this is this guy's painting. This is Red Poppy number red, six. Yeah. It's obvious. Hers is all flowers. It's so easy. The black iris, too. It's entitled Sunflowers. I finished it in September of 1888. I... Okay, I, I can't really say anything. You made a picture of a painting of flowers, but yet here I am making a recording of me playing a video game that's, what, 16 years old? 18 years old now? <laughs> so I'm, I'm not one to judge. It's entitled Petunia and Colas, 1924. It's entitled The Night Cafe. It's kind of unfortunate with him, because you can't really see that it's impressionistic painting, because it's so small. It's entitled The Moon Woman Cuts the Circle, 1943. It's entitled Stories, 1929. It's entitled The Three Sphinxes of Bikini, 1947. What is, up with, what is up with this, like, Joker, like, like... The... <laughs> Mustache? Yeah, oh, oh, who is it? The guy who played the guy who played the Joker in the first Batman movie. Um, oh, Jack. Jack. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like the Joker kind of face there. He, yeah, he does. <laughs> it's entitled "Woman's Head" with self-portrait. I'm sure she was very flattered. I uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's take a look at these paintings. Okay, this is Picasso's. Yeah. Oh, that's Van Gogh. Uh, you. Um. Uh, oh. Why are you pa clicking oh, on Van Gogh? Picasso was. Oh, now they say their names! I'm Hi, I'm Pablo Picasso. If you'd like to know more about me, click on the button on my pedestal. Can you, you find already did that. on the wall? Bravo! Yeah, we just did! I painted Why did that they one. do that? It's entitled The Three Musicians. I think this I is blocks. I think... Yeah... Hello, I'm the famous American painter Jack... Oh, Pollock! Jackson Pollock. Pollock, that's right. If you'd like to know more about me, click on the button on my pedestal. Can you find one of my paintings? Ho ho! You clearly know your drips from your dribbles. It's entitled Overall Composition, 1938. Can you find another painting? I'm not sure. That, that I think it's the guy with the glasses right there. So it's that guy with the glasses? Oh. Yeah. Doesn't this guy actually look like him? Little, There's a little bit of Doug Walker going on there. Huh. Greetings, I'm Olesi Kandinsky, Ken 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 Mr. K, a famous Russian-born painter and writer. For more information about me, click on the button on my pedestal. Can you find one of my paintings? Yes, apparently you two recogni clearly recognize the philosophical connotations of my work. It's entitled Colorful Ensemble, 1938. To me it looks like a heart. Yeah, 
<laughs> this, I think, is Pollux. Yep. You clearly know if you're from your dribbles. It's entitled Composition with Pouring 2, 1943. That's Van Gogh. Yes, that's mine. Do you see the world as I do? It's entitled Fishing Boats on the on the Beach at St. Marie's. I completed it in June of 1888. Finally... That is Salvador Dali's. I believe. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh, now I know why that's Dali. Um, actually, on YouTube, surprisingly, there is an episode of What's My Line that features him as a mystery guest. Mm-hmm. And he's got that mustache. Oh. You found one of my paintings. You, like me, have the mind of a, par of a paranoid critical genius. I say this in all sincerity. It's entitled Hallucinogenous Bullfighter. 1970. Congratulations. You have earned a bronze art recognition plaque. Are we doing the higher levels? Um, to be honest, I find this one kind of boring on the higher levels, because they're, like, the same paintings. So, forget it. Right. We don't care. So next time, we'll head on to the musical puzzle, because I don't think we have enough time right now to finish that. Take care, really? everybody. Okay. Is that okay with you? I... Yeah, it's fine. It's I, just... I just didn't think we had enough time for it, so. Alright. Alright, so, later, everybody. Bye.